people went in to close out their accounts and they were asked to leave by security and so they began to leave. Once two people got outside, security ran back out, dragged them back inside and then the police came in and told them they're not free to leave and that they were all getting arrested. There's one kid whose hands were bleeding and they just left him outside for a while because of the, the, from the flexi cuffs, which are not very flexy. But maybe, I don't know, 700 people came out. Blue streets! Blue streets! Enjoy Chipotle, guys. We're taking over the city. That's what's happening. We are the people. The police try to stop us, uh, telling us we can't march. You know, we have to remind them who who pay their taxes, who pay their salaries. You didn't fight the war to come home for a job. You didn't fight the war for a job. You know, you have guys losing their arms and legs, serve three, four tours, come home, can't even find a job, living with their mom. Grown men, can't even find a job. What did you fight the war for? Really? For what? I'm still trying to figure that out. So. The police are they're doing their job. You know, they, can they go overboard? Absolutely. I've, I've seen the videos too. And those people ruin it for the bunch. They give them all a bad name. It's hard. It's hard. Man. It's hard. I had my daughter. I had a I had to get had to get you know, some permanent money. Now what the hell? 
Right. Probably a few minutes. Thank you. Yeah, within the hour. Within the hour. They're just clearing out. Which hour? This hour. Which hour? They're clearing out Broadway. Once they feel it's, you know, the, the protest has moved along, they'll let everybody go back through. They just don't want anybody getting caught up. Just want it to be safe for everybody. Okay. Oh, you can film me. I'm standing here. You can film. We want to film what they're doing in there. Unfortunately, I'm not even going down there, and you're going to have to hang out over here, right? Watch yourself! Watch yourself! Watch yourself! Come through! Come through! Come through! That's a, that's a table. Small business owners. Riot police and SWAT are two different types, but these guys are prepared. They divided and conquered the entire crowd. The whole march that came up today was one large group. When everybody got here, the first thing they did was separate everybody into quarters. So you got one group here, one group here. Now they've split this large crowd. Right, between north and south, and that crowd split, so everybody's been to islands. And now they're separating us. They just brought a large cart through, which that guy from Occupy Wall Street said one week ago that guy was found to be undercover. So they bought a huge wooden box and that box that came through. And they said they used that to spread everybody open, and once they spread the crowd open, they used that to put in the riot cart. Was gushing. Was gushing. Out of his head. Out of his head. We took him. We, we took, took him to the hospital. To the hospital. Officer, it's Officer Higgins, two six nine three seven. Had helmet, but he just he was a, a horse driven cop. When they pulled up slowly, they were given the rule to stay back. And some of the protesters started saying something, touching the railing, and his like face changed. And he, you could tell it was individual moved towards everybody. The horse went up, and like people fell over. And then all the horses went in, and then one of his bosses in the back had to whistle and get everybody back. And that's when they moved back. And that just, that just scared the crap out of everybody when that happened. The sad part is, is that this whole organization, once everybody got up here today, as soon as the cops were put in front of us, it caused everybody to forget what our whole march was about. And, and everybody turns their attention and their aggressions towards the police. That's Discon right. Every, all the crowd's discontent gets aimed at what's in front of you. If just pretend, yeah. hypothetically, this cops were here, we would have filled in empty voids, would have been filled, and discussions would have started just like it did in the park. But as soon as you put up a barrier, kind of mess. I mean, I understand the safety of the citizens, but this many people, every demographic that's here, that, that, yeah, oh, we need more space geographically. They should be, they should be asking us what we need. Yeah, I, I honestly absolutely. think with this this number of bodies in the street, you are here.